What's up guys, today in this video we're going to be installing a wireless remote for my 2020-14 LX Big Tex dump trailer. I have everything laid out right here that you need. Um, the kit comes with all the instructions. Uh, the Big Tex is power up, power down. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for the item. I paid $110 on eBay. Uh, when you go to buy a Big Tex at the dealer, it's about a $500 option for the wireless remote so it comes with a control box the antenna and a remote and the things you'll need are some self-drilling screws some quick connects a couple different eye crimps a pair of crimpers strippers a 9 16 socket and a 3 8 socket and a voltmeter let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you're going to want to do is take the top off the battery and these are the two solenoids that you're going to be hooking into. Um, you just need to figure out which one is power up and power down. The instructions are pretty clear. The instructions show so it's power up, power down. So we're gonna be using this one over here. Um, so the blue is the up, the gray is the down, and the orange is the hydraulic pump switch, which is this right here. So I've already tested this out using a voltmeter. Um, so the gray is the down, and that's the front solenoid and the blue is the up and that's the back so let's go ahead and get this hooked up so the first thing you're going to do is hook your solenoids up you'll need your quick connects for that the first thing you're going to want to do is disconnect this front one this is the gray. You're gonna to wanna to cut this quick connect off. Go ahead and strip this. Strip your gray wire. Go ahead and twist these together. It. and install it back on Okay, so now that you have that, you're going to hook up your orange wire, and that goes to the hydraulic pump solenoid switch. You can use a quarter inch ring terminal for that. and crimp your terminal on. And right by the positive right here, it's hard to see. You're gonna be undoing this nut right here.
Next, you're gonna use some 5 16 ring terminals. You need two of them to hook up your negative and positive directly to the battery. Those are stripped. Next, go ahead and disconnect the positive from your battery. And attach that. And then the same thing with your battery. So at this point, it should work. And go ahead and power it on. And up and down. So this is the box you're going to mount inside of your toolbox. You have an antenna to go with that. So I think I'm gonna mount it right here. And we'll get these wires running clean up. So. I'll go ahead and mount that up. So we'll go ahead and get this mounted up right here. and switch that battery out really quick. So I just went ahead and used these number six by half inch self-drilling screws. They work perfect. Don't go through too far through the back of the box. And it still allows the box to pull. So we gotta get this mess of wires cleaned up just a little bit. I'll probably go back through and put it in some wire loom later. Okay, so there's a remote that comes with it. It says you need to mount this remote outside of the box, um, the metal box, if that's where you're installing. So I'm gonna see if I can get this through that, through this back hole. Should be able to, no problem. So the antenna screws in right here. And 
And then it says to use a screw or the self adhesive tape that's on the box or on the antenna to mount it. Let's go ahead and find a spot. So I think if I put it somewhere in here, it won't get ruined. So it's time to learn the remote. It says to uh, how to learn a transmitter, enter learn mode, push and hold the on off button of the receiver module until the LED starts to flash, then release the button. Push and hold the on off on the transmitter until the LED on the receiver module comes on consistent. Release the on off button, the transmitter is now learned. So it should work. <laughs> Looks like it works. This unit does have a standby timer, so it does turn off when, uh, when it hasn't been used for a certain amount of time. I'm not exactly sure on the amount of time. But you don't have to open the box every time to turn it on. You just go ahead and click the on button and it'll trigger the transmitter um, and it'll work. And then it'll time out and turn off so your battery doesn't drain. So there's, you can operate the, the unit here and your factory wired remote still works as well. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll link all the items that I use, or I'll link the wireless transmitter and remote in the description below. You can like and comment and subscribe for future content.